for the video session on physical structure of MOSFET in the CMOS VLSI design. I am uh, Professor uh, Sri Shail Prakash Swami uh, from Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. So these are the learning outcomes. The students will be able to understand the physical structure of MOSFET. The students will be able to understand the types of MOSFET. These are the contents. In this video session, we are covering the physical structure of MOSFET, the types of MOSFET. A metal oxide semiconductor MOS structure is created by superimposing the several layers of conducting and insulating materials to form a sandwich like structure. These structures are manufactured using a series of chemical processing steps which involves the oxidation of silicon, selective introduction of dopants, the dopants are N plus dopant, uh, P plus dopants and then deposition and etching of metal wires and contacts. The transistors which are built on nearly flawless single crystals of silicon which are available as a thin flat circular wafers of 15 to 30 centimeter in the diameter. The CMOS technology provides the two types of transistors, MOS transistors. The first type is N-type transistor which is known as NMOS and second one is a P-type transistor which is known as PMOS. The transistor operation is controlled by electrical fields so the devices are called as the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor which is in short we can call it as the MOSFET. So uh, in this figure there are the two types of NMOS, uh, two types of MOSFET devices one is known as NMOS device and another is known as the PMOS device. So the in the left hand side this device is known as NMOS and in the right hand side this device is known as the PMOS. So here the it is having the actually four terminals but uh, we are observing only three here. The fourth terminal is substrate which is connected to source in generally. So here the three terminals are known as uh, the source terminal, the gate terminal and the drain terminal. Same terminals are for the PMOS also. Okay. So here uh, there are the, the bigger the part is of the bulk silicon which is known as the substrate. So if P substrate is there then we can call it as NMOS. If here N substrate will be there, then we can call it as the PMOS. So here there are the two heavily de uh, doped uh, two regions are there, which is known as N plus regions. Okay, and in the for the PMOS there are the two heavily doped uh, P regions are there. Now there is gate uh, material is there, the gate terminal between the gate and drain and source there is insulating material which is made up of silicon oxide okay so here the polysilicon is used for the gate terminal so there is isolation between the gate uh, polysilicon and the substrate that is what the p region uh, and n region so here n plus region and p plus regions indicates the heavily doped n or p type silicon or semiconductor Each transistor here, the consisting of a stack of conducting gate, which is known as the G terminal, an insulating layer of silicon dioxide, SiO2, which is known as glass, uh, which is known as the, we can say that insulating material, and the silicon vapor, which is known as the substrate, or substrate is also known as the body or bulk. An NMOS transistor is built with P type body. And the PMOS transistor is built with N type body means based on that we can identify which is the NMOS or PMOS. And there are the regions of N, N type semiconductor adjacent to the gate which is known as source and drain. So these source and drain are the interchangeable because they are the, uh, the same terminal we can say that the body is typically the ground A. A PMOS transistor is just opposite consisting of P type source and drain regions with N type body as we seen in the figure. In CMOS technology with both flavors of transistors the substrate is either N type or P type. The gate is control input. It affects the flow of electrical current 
between the source and drain the conductivity of nmos and pmos depends on the applied voltage at the gate terminal the nmos transistors the body is generally grounded so the pn junctions of source and drain body are reverse bias if the gate is also grounded then no current flow through the reverse bias junction hence we can say that transistor is in off condition so if voltage we are increasing at the gate terminal then electrons uh, outnumber the holes and thin region under the gate called as channel is inverted to act as n type semiconductor hence a conducting path of electron carriers is for formed from the source to drain and channel is formed between source and drain and now current can flow so we can say that the atmos is on so similarly for pmos for pmos the transistor the situation is again reverse the body is held at positive voltage when the gate is also at positive voltage the source and drain junctions are reverse biased and no current flows so the current uh, the transistor is off so when the gate voltage is lowered below the threshold value then positive charges are attracted to the underside of silicon oxide interface a sufficiently low gate voltage inverts the channel and conducting path of positive carriers is formed from the source to drain so that the transistor becomes on now these are the uh, this is what the uh, n type semiconductor substrate or we uh, below here shown it is the pmos and below one there is a n mos okay in the pmos the substrate is of n type semiconductor there are the two heavily doped regions which are known as p plus regions and the gate terminal which is made up of polysilicon and there is insulating material that which is made up of silicon oxide okay that is uh, which provides the high insulation between gate and source drain and here similarly in the n type semiconductor the substrate or body is of p type the n plus uh, heavily doped regions are there which are known as source and drain there is insulating material between gate and source drain and polysilicon is used for the gate terminal so this is what the different mos layers we can say that there are the uh, these are the symbols of the pmos transistors and nmos transistors so any one symbol we can use it for designing of any combinational circuit or any cmos circuit or any uh, sequential circuit so for that purpose we can use any of uh, any of these symbols the positive voltage is usually called as vdd or power we can say that which is also we can consider as a logic one whereas the po uh, popular logic families of the in the 1970s and 1980s are the at that time the vdd was set to 5 volt nowadays vdd uh, is uh, decreasing now the they have used supplies of 3.3 volt 2.5 volt 1.8 volt 1.5 1.2 1.0 volt and so forth the low voltage is called as ground which is generally we can call it as vss and it represents a logic zero or normally zero volt so in short the summary of mos transistor in summary the gate of and mos transistor controls the flow of current between the source and drain simplifying this to the extreme allows the mos transistor to be viewed as a simple on off switch so this uh, this is what the nmos symbol nmos transistor and below one is the pmos transistor so when gate is equal to zero means logic zero the nmos will be off nmos will be off so that it will act as a open circuit when the gate terminal is one then nmos will be on so it acts as a short circuit so for similarly for pmos when the gate g is equal to zero gate voltage is zero then pmos will be on which is uh, act as a short circuit and when the gate uh, is equal to one that is logic high then the pmos will be off that is what open circuit so what is p mosfet now the mosfet is known as metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor a mosfet is a four terminal device having source gate drain and body generally the body is attached to the source in general the body of the mosfet is in connection with source terminal thus forming a only three terminal device such as a field effect transistor so mosfet is widely used for switching purposes and for the amplification of electronic signals in the electronic devices the mos mosfet is the fundamental building block of mos and cmos digital integrated circuit compared to the bjt the mos transistors occupies a relatively smaller silicon area and its fabrication involves a fewer processing steps due to this 
technological advantages and simplicity of mosfet operation the mos transistor is most widely used as a switching device in the large scale integration and very large scale integration circuit now this is the general structure of the mosfet functionally functionality of mosfet depends on electrical variations happening in the channel width along with the flow of carriers either holes or electrons the charge carriers enter into the channel through the source terminal and exit via the drain the uh, here this is what the p substrate is used means this is what n mos so in the n mos uh, the channel exists between here shown between source and drain the length of channel is represented by l okay so here the width of the channel is controlled by the voltage on the electrode means at the gate which is known as gate and it is located in between source and drain it is insulated means gate terminal gate is insulated from the channel near an extremely thin layer of metal oxide the mos capacity that exists in the device is the crucial section where the entire operation is across this means below the uh, silicon oxide layer uh, between drain and source the channel is getting formed and the channel strength is depends on totally the applied voltage at the gate terminal now we are uh, discussing now the types of mosfet the there are the two types of mosfet one is known as depletion type and second one is known as enhancement type so here the symbols of depletion mode mosfets are shown the depletion type n channel the p channel depletion type mosfet here shown there are the four terminals shown drain source gate and the substrate uh, here substrate is connected to source by dotted lines and there is a direct connection between the drain and source the arrow indicates the type of the channel okay so here the current flowing from substrate towards the drain source that is what the arrow in enters the mosfet it indicates the n channel the arrow outwards that indicates what the p channel in the depletion type mosfet the transistor is equivalent to a normally closed switch the depletion type of transistor requires the gate source voltage vgs to switch off the device we can observe that the fourth terminal that is substrate is connected to ground here in this type of mosfet a thin layer of silicon is deposit deposited below the gate terminal the depletion mode mosfet transistors are generally on at zero gate source voltage the conductivity of the channel in the depletion mosfet is less compared to the enhancement types that's why the depletion type mosfets are rarely used in the switching applications so second type is enhancement type so in the enhancement type there is a dotted line or break line between the drain and source and remaining thing is same compared to the uh, depletion type so here the n channel enhancement uh, mode mosfet is shown and in the right hand side the p channel enhancement mode mosfet is also shown here so the in the enhancement mode mosfet it is generally called as normally open switch these types of transistors requires a gate source voltage to switch on the device means vgs must be provided so that the device can we can make it on we can observe that the broken line is connected between the source and drain which represents the enhancement type mode in the enhancement type mode mosfet the conductivity increases by increasing the oxide layer which adds the carriers to the channel generally this oxide layer is called as inversion layer the channel is formed between drain and source in the opposite type of to the substrate such as n channel is made with p type substrate and p channel is made with n type substrate so these are the references cmos vlsi design neil h e west david harris ian banerji pearson education and second one is the principal of cmos vlsi design neil west kamran uh, shrigin by the pearson education thank you